right boys we got a good one for you 14 gmc terrain and this is a no crank no start customer says they uh went in to work came out everything lights up like normal and see the security light went out you see that right try to start the car nothing no crank no start very strange thing is and look at that see how it's sitting there like that and key is normal let me try that again and it's stuck there it could be a low battery right now i got codes as vin not programmed in the engine computer and also um basically as if there's uh basically as if there's no um as if this is almost like a blank engine computer. But the thing that's strange, if this was the case, uh, look, yeah, it looks like the battery's low. I'm gonna put the booster on it and see if there's a difference. The thing I was gonna do is, this is the starter relay. I was gonna hit current directly to there and see if the starter would come on. I'm also gonna look at this computer and see if it looks like they've changed it or done anything to it the dust on there I'd say they probably have not I can see some fingerprints somebody's moved the connector um, right there on the dust um, computer looks like it has not been moved so it's probably the original the security light does not um, stay on, which is very strange with a code like this, with an error that it's not programmed, you would get a security light. So that makes me think that the computer, it could be a power issue or a grounding issue here. So let me check something. I went ahead and checked all these uh, mini fuses here. Didn't see any blown. Um, I went ahead and reseated, looked in the connectors. They all look like this. Pretty much brand new, fresh, no issues, visible. And let's see if a receipt will help. Right. Key off, key on. Nothing. By the way, this car will not ID with the scanner to show the VIN number when you first put it on. I had to manually put in the VIN. And I can communicate with the engine computer and all the modules, the BCM, uh, pretty much all the modules, I'm pretty sure. It's just the uh, engine computer's reporting, no VIN programmed like it's a fresh computer. But of course, you see the security light is off. Check the powers and grounds to the engine computer. Um, by the way, on this is X2, X3. That's X1, the blue one. Um, the grounds are going to be this big 73, number 73. That's the big connector right there, the big uh, port. Same thing here. That's your other ground, that big one. That's number 73. And you've got, I believe, like uh, two or three powers here, but one of them gets activated by the relay, so you won't be able to test it with it unplugged like this. But we can put it directly. All right, guys, so here are your three powers. This red and white you see right here, uh, the first one, that's number 52. That one you should have always, and the one under it is a pink. It should have with the ignition on, and then this one should be the relay which is this relay right here. That is when you have the ignition on and it's good, it should supply also 12 volts to that to turn on the, um, activate the PCM. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and poke these. I've got power key on. Yeah, so I got power. Uh, relay is working properly. Um, I tested the grounds. They are good as well. So I'm going to call this uh, most likely a failed PCM. I'm going to go ahead and get another one and replace it. Oh, just so you know, by the way, this vehicle is on the uh, Global A list. So if we go on the uh, PDF here, this is a GMC Terrain 2014. 
and it's from 2010 to 2018 Argo A vehicles. So you're not supposed to use use my right, guys. We went ahead and hooked up our PCM. We got a can low, can high, two powers, and our ground. Um, I'm going to show you the map of that. All right, here it is for E38 and E39 ECMs. So that's how we're hooked up right now. You know that. Now we're on IO terminal. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and click on ECU info. Okay. And we're going to do read info. And there it is. It connected. So that is definitely a bad engine computer. See, our VIN value is, is empty. Um, this is not right. So, um, yeah, definitely that ECM, this ECM is defective. So next step, we're going to go ahead and connect our replacement used ECM that we're going to modify to put the VIN number to the correct VIN number for this vehicle so we can uh, continue the installation and programming. Boys, if you do need this, we've got them here in stock right here in the USA. Uh, it'll go out to your priority. There's a link in the description box. You're also supporting the um, channel. Um, and we also provide support, anything you need, if you buy from us. And uh, it can even go out express and get to you tomorrow. So link it in the description if you're interested. We've got some available. By the way, guys, if you need the service, uh, you can even send us in your, um, your ECM. And we can even program the VIN for you. Not an issue at, at all. Of course, for a small fee. All right, guys. Here we are the next day. Got the IM608 replacement PCM. We're going to connect up. All right, guys. This is actually about a week and a half after uh, this video was first made. Um, first of all, I got uh, great news for all the um, subscribers of the channel and those guys that have donated primarily. Um, you guys will be the first in on this one. Um, yeah, so basically I finally cracked the code on uh, GM Global A uh, PCM security. So um, you guys will be able to basically use any used engine computer uh, as long as it works, of course, on uh, a Global A vehicle on the E38 platform. Um, this might also apply to other uh, platforms on the Global A list. I just haven't tested them yet. This is the first one I've actually gotten to. Um, there is gonna be a part two of this video where I go into details of uh, testing and showing you the uh, editing process that went by. Um, but um, I still have to, I'm basically putting a script together or an app rather that will you'll be able to input various information such as your VIN number um, and whatnot that's necessary and it will be able to modify um, a file for you and with that you would be able to write it back to your used engine computer and then go through the programming process. You probably already saw the screen before this where it showed um, um, if you just change the VIN number um, that's not sufficient. SPS is also looking at other values um, in fact, uh, you don't even have to change all the VIN numbers that are incorrect on the vehicle. It wouldn't even matter uh, on the ECM, rather. Um, there's only certain values that I should, it actually looks at. Yeah, so on part two of this video, you'll see, uh, like I said, how I got to that point. Um, and also see that uh, finally once I got all the values correct, uh, we was able to complete the security process and start the truck. This is the only channel you're gonna find this type of information. You've got YouTube, you've got Google on your phone, on your partner's phone, search on it. You're not gonna find this information anywhere. This is the only place you're gonna find this information on actually cracking and breaking the software on GM Global A SP, um, SPS units. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you're missing out. Like I said, those guys that donated uh, this information, you're the first ones that's going to get it. Um, you would just message me, uh, send me, shoot me an email. And uh, once I do have that uh, package ready, I will send it off to you guys uh, with instructions on using it. And also anyone that, uh, by the way, you will need the... Uh, IO terminal um, that I offer. If you've purchased it from 
uh, from us supporting the channel, uh, you will get the app and instructions as well. And I will be updating it um, if there if it's necessary for different ECU types. Link will be in the description to uh, purchase it. You will be support supporting the channel as well. And at a later point, it will come to subscribers of the channel at some point in the future. Yeah, so thanks again to all those that uh, donate to the channel. Global GM, Global A Security cracked on this channel right here, man. All right, see you guys on part two. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up arrow, boys. We're going to get this video to the top, man. Yeah, see you guys in part two. Security light is out. That's it. No more security light. We gotta check in. We gotta do the learn. Crank relearn. Place.